All right, so I'm gonna show you a super quick way I learned to sample your drum machine into Logic and then use each sound as an individual pad in the drum machine designer. So for demonstration, I've got my Korg vocal drum that has six different parts. And I'm gonna start by opening a new project in Logic and selecting a quick sampler. My instrument's mono, so I'm gonna select that. And create the track. We're gonna go over here to open up the quick sampler. We're gonna to go to the recorder. Make sure we select our input. I'm just gonna turn on the monitor so we can take a listen. And then I'm gonna start recording the sounds. I'm just gonna play through them one at a time. And I'm just gonna pay particular attention to this level right here and make sure that each note has had a chance to sufficiently decay so that there's no blend between the notes. All right, here we go. All right, I got all six sounds recorded in. I'm gonna go over here and just select Slice. It's basically automatically detected each note. Um, sometimes this isn't perfect, so you might need to dial the sensitivity up or down. Sometimes it detects too many notes or too few. Um, and then here's the kicker. I'm gonna hover over this sort of shadowy region here, right click, and then create drum machine designer track. And there we go. All six of those sounds loaded into the drum machine designer. I can then tweak each one to my heart's content. I can crop them to remove the silence, whatever. I can give them names, give them different notes. You know how it works. So now to save this, you need to make sure that you don't have any of your sounds selected when you do this. You actually wanna make sure you have the drum kit selected here at the very top. And then you're gonna go back into your library, down to this save button here, where I can now save my third vocal drum preset and now that's going to be available to me in any future projects I can just load it up from user patches it's right there so good luck um, if you have any questions let me know in the comments if there's a better way to do this by all means please let me know uh, look forward to seeing what you come up with see ya